we begin our reflection today in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. MHB 180. 180. There is a green hill far away without a city where the dear Lord was crucified who died to save us all. dearly has he loved and we must love him too and trust in his redeeming blood and try his works to do the last stanza we pray together heavenly father we are most grateful unto you again this evening for enabling us to come before your throne we pray that as we incline our ears to your word may you bless our hearts with your word we pray that may these words be unto us a seed that is sown on a fertile land I commit myself into your hands this evening and I pray that you will use me as a vessel to bless your people this evening. Spirit of God, we welcome you. Be with us and end with us. Amen. People of God, we welcome ourselves again to our online virtual Lent program lent in focus on behalf of the superintendent minister the very reverend esso ejapon we welcome ourselves to be part of this blessings yesterday we discussed the theme giving like jesus and we read from first peter chapter 1 18 to 19 and peter admonished us that 
it is appointed unto us as Christians to go through suffering. Indeed, Peter gave an analogy of what a Christian goes through in terms of suffering. But in the verse 19, he admonished us that because we were bought by the blood, because we were bought by that precious, unblemished blood, we should be excited that even though we suffer, Christ bought us with the precious blood. We also came to a conclusion that the suffering of the Christian is towards developing faith and eventually part of our salvific plan. We concluded on the fact that suffering is not interesting. Suffering is not good. Suffering is not nice. But what we go through as a people and especially as Christians strengthens us and builds us towards attracting the grace of God. People of God, today it's day number 21 of our Lent, Friday, 20th March, 2020, and we reflect on the topic, growing to care like Jesus. Growing to care like Jesus. Our scripture lesson is taken from the gospel according to St. John, chapter 19, reading from Verses 25 to 27. John 19, 25 to 27. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother. His mother's sister Mary, the wife of Cleopas and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother there, and the disciples whom he loved standing nearby, he said to her, Woman, here is your son. And to the disciple, here is your mother. From that time on, this disciple took her into his home. I take the scripture reading again. Verse 25. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother, his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cleopas, Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother there and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to her, Woman, here is your son. And to the disciple, here is your mother. From that time on, this disciple took her into his home. People of God, today we reflect on the third saints or the words of Jesus Christ on the cross. Indeed, one of the passages that is only recorded by Saint John. Now, a Koban is saying, Jesus Christ. Yachino ayana yaka yaka de Jesus Christo ya bona senue mu na abra owo asenue ne so no Jesus Christo ke kan sembi na de etoso miensa no ene ne na yejina so na ye de ache onyankopon asem e wo lent bremu Jesus had been arrested. He had been prosecuted. He had been sentenced. Indeed, he has been more treated and mutilated. He has been crucified. On the cross, he shares some words. Indeed, some people have said he shared some sentences. And out of these sentences today, would discuss the third one, that which was recorded by St. John. One of the things I have realized about the sick and the giving of care to the sick is that usually the people who give care to the sick 
most at time tend to suffer more trauma than the people who are sick themselves. Adia ba kwa mehu awo ayarishe eni ayarisabia ensembi nese. Eya na wongwa wadi nipaba ebepe ayarishe ma wono. Edru bebia. Ya na atetia womu kumuno. Ya na edru bebia. Echenia wa yare nekra. Ebane saying ayeye. Why must we understand this? Why should the person that is offering care, why should the person that is offering genuine help to the person who is sick usually go through such trauma? Jesus realizes this scenario and of the fact that the prophecy of the prophet Simon in Luke chapter 21 verse 35 had come to pass, realized that his mother was indeed in agony whilst looking at he, his son. Yesu Christo, and who said, I send you an hour since on a name of me, wash and on, then soon go jump and sign a badaya, a mammy for a won't It is just normal that whatever Jesus was going through the mother was emotionally going through it the more now in the midst of this jesus looks for the next thing to do i have often said that when there are problems we solve it there is no point adding a problem to a problem jesus in his agony prescribes a solution to the mother who was being traumatized. A Christopher Yeti O Yankupon Sam Christo Sum Nese O Yankupon DSE and Pempen Swobia Yahumba Bam Faswa Amma Unipa Dasani. Christianity is when we are at the point where we can offer genuine care and genuine help. To the people who are closer. Sometimes it's very easy to offer care to people that we love and people that we appreciate. What about the people whom we so much may not love but are in need? Growing to care like Jesus. Say ye na ye Yesu Christo eye no. How many of us in a state of agony will think about the next person? Jesus realizing the emotional state, the emotional trauma of the mother prescribes a care that will forever stand in the passages of the Bible and be celebrated always and most of the time every year. So there were a lot of people there. A lot of disciples were there. I'm sure that at that point, minus Judas Iscariot, all the 11 were there. Probably others who had also come to the saving grace of God through the disciples and through the preachings of Jesus Christ were also there. The soldiers were there. It is possible that the Sahindrin and some Pharisees were also there. Now, Jesus goes on to look for the right person to hand the mother to. Lesson number one this evening. It is not enough to give care. We have established the fact that Christianity is about giving it all to people who usually do not deserve. For God so loved the world that he gave. I am able to give a piece of bread to somebody, not because he is a son or a daughter, but because I care. So we have established that fact. Everything about Christianity is caring. Indeed, Christianity could be synonymous to caring. So we have established that fact. But this evening we say, one of the things Jesus did was to strategically 
look for a responsible person to care. People of God, there's not everybody and anybody who can care. It is not everybody and anybody who can care. Why did Jesus not hand his mother to another brother or another sister? But Jesus specifically handed the mother to John the beloved. It is very possible that Jesus himself had seen certain qualities in the disciple John, which made it very simple. And look at something in the verse 27. And to the disciple, here is your mother. And from that time on, the disciple took her to his home. Yesu Christo shushu e muwe hun se sa oyayi, sa papayi, wobe ti miya she abriwayi. And that is what all of us should be looking at now. It is not enough to just care and hand over care to somebody. It is important to look for a responsible person. Who are you leaving your child with? Who are you leaving that loved one with? Who are you leaving your husband with? Who are you leaving your friend with? Who are you leaving your wife with? Who are you entrusting your property to? It is not enough to just bring a house help to your house. It is just not enough to employ. It is not enough to call upon people for help. Strategic employment. Looking for somebody who fits the job. A person who has the capacity to deliver. Christianity and the excesses of caring should not blind us. Who have we entrusted that small company to? Is it your uncle that is looking after the Boja Boja shop? Is it your mother that is looking after it? People of God, I'm not saying they are not worthy to look after them. But the point here is that are they strategically placed? Jesus himself, the creator of the entire universe, recognizes capacity and potential. And in the verse 27, as I was emphasizing, immediately the man John took the mother to his house. Responsibility. I have often advised my students and some youth I speak to that it is a fluke to think that there are no jobs in Ghana. Indeed, it is a deception to think that nobody will employ you. The secret is that there are more jobs that are looking for capacity. But those of us are, who are looking for the jobs are not eligible enough. Jesus looks for the right person to care for the mother. Indeed, Jesus recognizes the prophecy of some, Simon. Say, what the name of me a rehuomu. Nima me be di a rehuo. And right from that time, Jesus, I am sure, had planned how the mother was going to be looked after. Abrewa. Abrewa ebe ya ne diye yin. Enti min ya abrewa ho. Yesu Christo said, da abi ne mum, me pe wo bi a wo qualify. Employers, if you are listening to me, the reason the work you do will shoot to the next level it's not because you are emotional and you're a Christian and you must necessarily care. The reason the job will move to the next level is that you have strategically looked for the people who will do the right job. Are you here with me? So Jesus looks for the right person to 
look at the issue at hand. And the issue at hand was that Abrewa must be taken care of. Mommy must be taken care of. Point number two. Now, once Jesus is also looking for the right person to do the job, it is also very important that the person who is also accepting the job takes up responsibility. So Jesus is giving. Jesus has given the order. Mother, behold your son. Son, behold your mother. It is incumbent on the son to take up responsibility. The only reason we will increase the money in our pocket is that the job we have been given, very important. And to hear the Jumano share, John on Sa Anankawanya, and Kayesu Christo Dien, and Yebeka Chirano. Jesus looked for a strategic person. And that person took up responsibility. Point number two. That person took up responsibility. People of God, are we taking responsibility? Mothers and fathers alike, are we taking responsibility? Students, are you taking responsibility? Teachers, workers, officials of government, the clergy, Members of the church, are we taking responsibility? I was having a discussion with somebody yesterday. And the person said that she is so happy that now she must not come to church. And I said, ah, why are you happy? And the person said it in cue. Wow. So you are not coming to church and you are happy simply because usika huato. That I think will be another example of not taking responsibility. John took up responsibilities. There are some other lessons that we can learn from the passage. If Jesus was eager to care for his mother in her hour of need, how much more is he eager to care for his disciples or followers who hear the word of God today? People of God, so Jesus recognizes a medium to take care of the mother. A person, Jesus strategically appoints somebody he feels can take care of the mother. That person takes up responsibility. And begins to do exactly what Jesus does. Now, if Jesus, in a state of agony, could still do this for his mother, how much more would Jesus not give unto us, his children, his brethren, his sons and daughters, who are followers of his word? Say yes, Christ to me, yes, I dear way, a man, a mammy, dear. And yea, you are ratio, must say, said the Abrabonitia, be a say, you suffer Christ to our baby and Srashe. And this is the assurance we have in Christ that because we believe the word of God and we trust Him, even if we are broken, even if we are rejected, even if we have failed, even if our hearts are broken. We still have the assurance that if Christ could do this for his mother in the state of agony, he would do the same for us. As we go through this fasting period, let us have assurance in Christ one more time. Say, Lesson number two. If Jesus could provide for the needs of his own in a moment of his deepest weakness and humiliation, how much more can he not provide for your need in his present power, 
resurrection and exaltation. Okay, so, so this, is, this is the scenario. If the first one we are saying that Jesus provided in a state of agony. Now, how much more would Jesus not provide now that Jesus is a king, sits up in heaven and calls the shot? People of God, in the wake of COVID-19, if our foundation is still in Christ and our assurance is in Him, how much more will Christ not do it for us? As much as we are praying for the health workers and praying for all the researchers who are seriously working, we are also believing the fact that in this our state, Christ will still come through for us. Wherever you are, I want to encourage you. Say, Yesu Christo Timi Yama ne mami e yama abra na ye ye adibon ye fwa na yen sa na yen fatadia. Please don't reject yourself because Christ has not rejected you. Our God will not reject us. Indeed, his omnipotency surpasses everything on earth. We are told in one breath that this God we talk about rides on the wings of the wind. His foot are not found at the shore, but in the ocean. Let us be encouraged in the Lord. Let us be encouraged in the Lord. Say, said ye tie biara. Eradi be ye frimu. The reason I was saying I call Jesus and his father Onyami Ayebida is simply because in the Bible and even outside the Bible we have evidence to the things he has done. The third lesson to it is an illustration for us the benefits of the church, the body of Christ. If Jesus purchased the church with his own blood and ordained that in it, sorrowful mothers find sons and sons find mothers, then no one should be without a caring family today in the church. Very important. Our last lesson. Yesu Christo atreye adekasie bi pa. Se mami ane raho enya oba. Oba susu ane raho enya mami dia. Enye nene empenifua etintimu ye lente krata yi e atreye nse. Yako ye ankrankran yako ye asafo. Muma ye ntina wa ye mwa obi ananze ye mpe mwa. People who have complained, they said, when they discuss their issues to people in the church, it goes out. And so they will prefer to tell people outside the church. That one, I think, sometimes can be dangerous. We are drawing the lesson that let us draw closer to care. There are avenues of care. Be a member of St. Paul, make sure you are part of a Bible class, make sure you belong to an organization. If you belong to a church, stay fast 
to your faith, hold on to your faith. It's as I say, yeny na ya ba na we ye we ya nam fu we ye we ni as ye boom wa ye kanya honshe. And that is all we are saying. Say, and ye ye Christo Gusya dia, and ye mumma ya no dodo do ya hum, mumma ya no dodo do ya hum. You may not know who is sitting by you, but the person seated by you, watching with you, needs help. Stretch forth your hand. Stretch your heart and offer that help to that person. The Bible says that Jesus gave a parable and in this parable, he said, One day, a man was traveling along the route to Jericho. And as he embarked on his journey, he was attacked by a pundit of robbers. Mranim ni bi teacher ni bi eso so ba betwem ono so so amfi no na samaria ni bi a no ono de na oni israel ni oni jew ni eni twaka bi a ba betwem no hu se papa ne da ho no wo ko ni nchen wo miamia ni kro ma no do enwo egugu ni kro nu ode ne to afuru ponko so e de ne ko ayare sabre ekoko hwe no Na ye na Yesu Christo e kasa sa pape ya wa ye sa pape e ma wa ye ye o da fo mui. Ampa wano wano e ne ya dan fo papa. Ono ne ye nui ya papa. Help somebody. That child in your house, that child in your house, that maid, that so called maid. I don't like to use the word maid. That house help. Wunu ye bi hiyam wa buwano. Indeed, Christianity will move to the next level if we all reenact this attitude of care. Jesus grew up and care. Ubuwa wabia ewa nitrimu. Enye u Christo awode be mano eno wabia kayansa. Nemo mwabi awode be buwanwa wufiwa wade be ko Christo sumu. Let us all stretch forth our hands and help. Let us all give our hearts to help. Let us all care for people. And I believe that Christ Jesus, who demonstrated this care, will care for all of us. For our meditation and prayer. Many Christians desert Jesus when they are faced with life's challenges. How can a Christian maintain a relationship with Christ when he or she is faced with problems? Asemwa ene ye jina so ya genjwe ni ya diya bompaye. E Christo fo bebre, mpen bebre, so how to yen yen? Ye timi di Christo sum eton chen. Papabi anu wakana sem. Osi mi di Christo sum beton chen na ma chire wo se di etie. Edru bebi ayane ye ye so nyanko po an po ye ye. E san se di ye kom ne ye ya. Enro ana me kan se ye ya pa. Na anso question ya. Ye bisa ya hone se. Wasa anu hiye hiye mu. Wasa ye bre mu. Wa ya ti ti mu. A yonko fa bi. Think about it. Bow down your hearts and reflect over this. Whilst we go through these challenges, we are asking ourselves, whilst we go through these challenges, what is the extent and the depth of your relationship with Christ? That is what is needed. 
Indeed, the reason why Job's blessings was tripled and quadrupled was because in his state of agony, he relied on that one strength, which is the strength from above. And then I and then the question na wenya kakra aton ho na wa ba be yo odefu obi a sen na nka wo so be boa amamfo e ya na mpen bebre ni ye wure fi se ye so so ye firi 1 and ye call 10 nti se be ya de manyen ya ni ye wure fi be bia ye fi ba ye sometimes when god blesses us we forget where we came from so i'm asking the question again if god should bless you how will you also care like Jesus did? Think about it. Think about it. Let us pray. Let us at this time come before God and ask that God will give us the gift of caring. The gift of caring. If God doesn't help us to develop such a gift, it will be very difficult for us to imbibe it. We are praying and telling God that Father, help us, help us, help us. Help us to have a heart that cares. Let us care about our wives. Let's care about our husbands. Let's care about our children. Let's care for the poor. Let's care for the sick. Let our heart yearn to help. It is difficult, but that is our Christian responsibility. Our last prayer is that Father, as we bring today to a close, any blessings in stock for us because we have come before your throne, give it unto us. At this time, I want you to tell God, tell God, He is faithful, He is faithful. Tell Him. Tell him, tell him, tell him. Bring your petitions, your needs before the throne of grace. He is a caring God. He sits on his throne and he cares. Tell God to honor you. 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 Now begin to bless the name of God for an answer prayer. Thank God for an answer prayer. Thank God for an answer prayer. Let us pray together. Our Heavenly Father, we are much grateful unto you for your word. The entrance of your word brings light and illumination that leads us to eternity we pray that this evening you will grant us the ability and the gift to care for one another eradi edru ba bia ne atoba ha o isan se ye kura po no ye ho chire ye nanso ne wa chire ye se wo ye ho hia hia mu kura no ye ko ye christo fo de ye nso so ye mo aye yonko 
and the watch and say, Yeah, well, back or cry, and you'll be in check. Father, it, it's not easy, so we pray that help us to do all these things. We pray that any blessing that is in stock for us this evening, we pray, grant it unto us. We thank you, Lord, and we give you glory. In Jesus' name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Our closing hymn is MHB 183. In the cross of Christ, I glory, towering all the wrecks of time, all the light of sacred story gathers around its head sublime. MHB 183. Hallelujah. Viewers, so soon we have come to the close of today's reflection. And again, on behalf of the superintendent minister, the very Reverend Dr. S. Japon, I wish to thank all of us for tuning in and watching. Please don't forget to like the page and share. Like the page and share. Until we come your way again tomorrow, same time, continue to care, and may God bless you. St. Paul, discipleship, God bless you.